Hello everybody, I'm Scotty from Scotty's Clock World. Thanks for joining me back on my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a broken suspension spring on a mechanical clock. I'll also give you the data you will need to purchase the correct replacement part. This is what we're looking at. Broken suspension spring right there. You can see it there. Now first up before we start, we'll name the parts we'll be looking at. This first piece here that holds the suspension spring is called a back cock. That's the suspension spring underneath it that's broken. This is the pendulum leader, which we'll take off in a moment. And the piece underneath that down there, as in there, is called a crutch. That's the pendulum leader and that's the crutch. Right, first thing we do is we have to pull the broken suspension spring out of the back cock. Do that with a pair of pliers, gently pulling it out. And then holding the, the pendulum lead up, we remove the dummy suspension spring. There it is for a close-up view. You can see the damaged spring on it. Easily seen. That piece there. All right, we'll put that aside. Now back to our movement. We'll take the pendulum leader off. It turns around, slides off the crutch. That's easier for you to see the crutch there. It's not covered by the pendulum leader. The crutch, of course, attaches to the pallets there that you can see when I move the crutch. The pallets are regulating the turning of the escape wheel. And that's our pendulum leader. All right, now, our replacement suspension spring so what we start off doing take a pair of pliers by the way that is the top piece of the suspension spring that goes in the back cock those two pins there or that one pin that goes on both sides is what holds the pendulum leader right we'll take the suspension spring slowly start to push it into the back cock it's pretty tight there we go we've got to start that'll do for the moment we'll turn it over and you can see there there's a hole in the back cock and there's a hole in the suspension spring so what we have to do is align those holes because we have to put a tapered pin in to hold it in place. That's a tapered pin that I've made. The last one was absolutely atrocious. So there was no way we were going to use that. Now I align the holes, moving the spring backwards and forwards slightly. Actually what I'll do is I'll turn it on its side It'll make it a bit easier to align and using a dentist probe I can push that in and align both those holes. Alright, now back to our tapered pin. Line it up in the hole and it should just push all the way through which it never does even though you align it. Has that got daylight showing in it? I think. Yeah, that should be right. Okay. Back we go again. Let's see if we can get it in this time. No, it's still being a bit obnoxious. So, Right, we'll slide it in again very slowly, and that's about the level. 
paper pin was a little bit too tight so just taking a little bit of material off the end of it so it'll fit in more easily. Still maintaining the 45 degree bevel on the end of it. Okay. Check both ends while I'm here. Might as well while well, I've got all the tools out. The thicker end shouldn't be a problem. It was just on the finer end, it was a bit hard to, to get it in. Alright, that's done. Right, back to where we were. Get our suspension spring once again. Push it into the back cock, align the hole, which is just about there. I'll use a dentist probe to align that. That seems to be all right. Now with our modified tapered pin, it should now just slide straight in. And it does. Here we go. Now. To hold it in place we don't push it in very tightly but we put a pair of pliers one jaw on the side of the back cock and the other on the back of the taper pin and gently push it right now that's in there the taper pin fits in pretty well now so now we're going to put the, the pendulum leader on put that over the top of the crutch goes in that little hole there then holding the pendulum leader we put it on the bottom of the suspension spring over those two pins that are under there. Then we align suspension spring back into the back cock. Align the hole, Dentist Pro once again. It seems to have done a pretty good job. Now for our tapered pin. Push it into the hole, it fits rather nicely. A pair of flat jaws pliers, one jaw on the back cock, the other on the end of the tapered pin, the fat end, push it in slightly and there we have it. You can see the escape wheel turning there. And there it is. That's how easy it is to replace. That's the mangle one. As we saw before, seriously broken. And after this I'll have the data that you will need to be able to replace your broken suspension spring with the correct replacement. I've made a graphic of this that is coming up next and just to clarify it to make it a little bit easier to understand when you see it. That's a hole at the top that the tapered pin goes through. That's a post at the bottom that the pendulum leader hangs on. And the measurement you will require are from that point to there, that's A, B, the centre of the hole where the taper pin goes to the centre of the post that holds the pendulum leader. Third measurement is the distance between that brass cap and the brass bottom. In other words, the length of the actual suspension springs. Right, I'll show that in the next graphic now.